In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. A great work to be done. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air. 1 Corinthians 14 verses 8 and 9. There are many who have been waiting to hear the certain sound of the message that would meet the emergency. All over our land, the Lord has honest souls who are standing in uncertainty. The message is to be proclaimed with sanctified ability. The word of the Lord has been spoken. God calls for sanctified hearts and lips. The messages of warning are to be given in the large cities and also in the towns and villages. The men of God's appointment are to be zealously at work, disposing of our books and disseminating light. The articles in our papers are not to present the truth in the style of a romance, for this weakens the impression that should be made by the most solemn truth ever committed to mortals. They are to contain a plain, thus saith the Lord. The message must be repeated and Bible reasons given, not in the style of a romance, but in the style of the Bible. There are many who are watching for the evidence of true religion. The Lord declares, the message is to go forth in words of solemn warning. Nothing that will hinder the clear presentation of the message is to be introduced into your plans. Repeat the message. The wickedness in the cities is increasing. The adversary has great influence over men because my people do not open their hearts to realize their responsibility. Tell my people to take up their work and proclaim the message. They are to speak and work in the simplicity of true godliness, and my spirit will make the impression on hearts. Let the true note of warning be sounded. My angel shall go before you if you will be sanctified through the truth. A great work is to be done. The truth is to be proclaimed with clear enunciation. We are to work in the sanctification of the Holy Spirit, walking humbly before God. We must send messengers throughout all the unworked fields, and the Lord will impress hearts. The first and second angel's message went with the power of the Spirit, and those who in their proclamation walked in work and humility were greatly blessed. Let us all wake up and with great energy take hold of the work to be done.